My friend Cordy is currently trying to be Minecraft, but uh, little does he know, I stole this morph mod, meaning I can transform into a ton of OP bosses. Some of these mobs are actually so crazy, and I think we should start by turning into this scary nether mob. All right, let me just get this wood. Okay, so it looks like Cordy is mining wood right now, and I'm gonna do a bunch of crazy lava and nether pranks with this mob and troll him even harder in a second. But first, I think we just go up and give him a little bit of a tap. And hello, Cardi. Wait, what just hit me? Wait, I swear I just got hit. Is there like a cow or something somewhere hitting me? What is happening? A cow or something or somewhere hitting you? What? Okay, well, I feel like I need to prank him a little bit harder and I feel like he's just lost in thought mining this tree. But what if I did a command to get rid of all the oak logs and oak leaves near us and replace them with air? And now Cardi should definitely notice us. Wait, what? I think the cow just got rid of all the trees. Where are you, Mr. Cow? And, uh, that, that, that is not a cow. Uh, yeah, you're right, Cordy. This definitely isn't a cow. Why did you think it was a cow? Okay, well, I'm gonna just jump over to him and hello, Mr. Cardi. Ah, this giant boss is killing me. Yeah, you are scared, but I'm gonna make you way more scared in a second. So let's grab a thing to break you with. And that's gonna be fire dynamite, meteor dynamite, a digging dynamite, and even interrupting dynamite as a nether mob and let's throw these all at Cardi. Wait, what? Why is there so much fire? Why is this mob attacking me? Uh, yes, that mob is definitely attacking you. And how did we make Cardi go all the way down to bedrock already? What? I'm taking so much damage. There's so many explosions. Okay, this is probably a little bit too mean in my opinion. So to make sure we can do more breaks on Cardi, I grabbed this fire resistance potion and let's just splash a bunch of these on Cardi so he doesn't take damage to the fire just so we can throw even more fire dynamite. What? There's even more TNT falling from the sky. Why is this happening? Uh, yeah, you probably have no idea why this is happening, but I feel like I should move on and break him some way else now. So let's do a command to replace all the stone with lava. And now you got a little bit to get out this hole, Cardi. You better start escaping. Uh, okay, I gotta get out this hole, but wait, wait, wait. Why is there lava coming down from the walls? Yeah, Cardi, you better run. And I think he is running because he is swimming up this water, but should I close it off? Okay, let's grab a sponge. And right before he gets to the top, let's just place a bunch of sponges. Wait, why is this guy placing sponges? No, no, no. I gotta get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah, you do gotta get out of your butt. I don't think my sponges are working. What the heck? And there we go. Now they're working. No, no, no. The water's gonna cut off. Yeah, Cardi, the water is gonna come off. And well, you better watch out. And somehow he made it out the hole. Come on, I'm almost dead. Oh, uh, uh oh. I, I gotta place blocks. And uh, he didn't even have to place blocks. The water, I guess, kept flowing. Well, I guess that is the sign I should move on to a next mob. And we gotta prank him even better. And before we actually prank him, if Cardi's mean to me, I'm gonna do an insane prank on him. But if he's nice, I, I won't do it. So let's grab a sign, put down a sign right here and write, can I be your friend? There we go. And let's see Cardi's reaction. And I think he does know that I'm doing all these pranks on him. So I wonder what he's gonna say. Can I be your friend. What? You want to be my friend? What are you talking about? You literally just tried to kill me and you are so ugly. What the heck? Uh, why Why did he even say that? Okay. Well, of course, you know what I gotta do now. We're just gonna fly away from him and Cardi does not know the mistake that he's made. So we're gonna fly away and we are gonna morph into our next mob. And this mob is gonna be literally one of the biggest things in all of Minecraft. And it is called the Lava Behemoth. And it's very hard to see ourselves, but it, that is because we are so huge and I, I don't even think I can see myself. But let's just walk up to Cardi and look how tall we are. And let's just go over to him and let's make the surrounding areas lava. Wait, wait, what? Why is there lava? Something has to be causing this. What is it now? And uh, what? Uh, yeah. What is the correct answer to that, Cardi? I, I think because I trapped you in here, you have no way to get out. You better start figuring out a way to get out of here. And I don't know if Cardi knows how big I am. So I'm just gonna fly up in the sky. What? That thing is so big. It's like a giant lava bug or something. I am stuck here though. Uh, it is not a giant lava bug. But what I am gonna grab is a TNT called this meteor giant TNT in a flint and steel because we gotta, of course, do an insane attack as this lava monster and it's very hard to see ourselves. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop all three of these to Cardi and just like, I, I guess, jump up in the air. And I wonder if he'll use them. Wait, 
what is this? Why did you just drop me this TNT looking thing? Uh, Cordy, it's because you have to light it. And is he gonna light it? Because I, I wonder if he will. What even is that? There's like a happy face on this. Wait, is this gonna give me good stuff if I light it? A happy face? That's a mean you're heading towards the earth on that TNT. And uh-oh, Cardi made a mistake. Let's go, I lit it. And wait, is that the happy face? Wait, wait, what is happening? And uh, that just happened. What the heck happened? It's raining meteors. Well, luckily for Cordy, that potion I gave him is gonna allow it so he won't take any damage in this, but this is crazy. What just happened? I swear, when I lit that, I totally thought I was gonna get a bunch of good stuff, but I literally almost died. Yeah, you literally almost died, Cordy, and this giant lava monster is chasing you still. I still don't understand why the giant lava behemoth thing gave me that, and it is literally still chasing me. Okay, I feel like we should do a new prank, because that was insane and literally just destroyed the world. So we kind of got to hold off on that, but we are going to do something even more insane in a second. But before we do that, let's help our friend Cordy out and TP him out of this hole. And he's probably really, really confused. Wait, what? Thank you for teleporting me out that hole. I did not know you were friendly like that. Uh, I am not friendly, but I feel like I want Cordy to trust me, so I'm going to morph into a mob that he will trust. And I think a mob he'll trust is this pet lion. And I, I don't know why he would trust this thing, because its eyes are literally red, so you know it's evil. Well, let's just go up to Cardi and help him beat the game a little bit. So, I see Cardi all the way over there. So, let's just go over to him and tap him a little bit. And hello, Cardi. What? There's a giant lion chasing me now. And uh, come on, does he not know I'm friendly? Uh, hello, Mr. Cardi. Or this be my friend. Wait, why are you jumping up and down? Wait, do you want to be friends or something here? Take this rose bush. Oh, wow. He's giving me a flower. Okay, I'm just going to nod my head. Yes, and just jump up in the air some more. And I'm just going to make him follow me by running away. Wait, Mr. Lion, do you want me to follow you or something? Why are you running away like that? Uh, yes, Cordy, I want you to follow me. Just come with me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him to a village so I can do my next prank. And trust me, it is gonna be insane. And so it's been a minute and we are at this village now. And now it's time for our next insane prank. But we gotta hide from Cordy since he's just following us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this custom TNT called a drilling TNT. And I'm just gonna place it right next to him. He's probably so confused. But what this is gonna do is drop him into a giant hole and that's probably not good now we dropped him into a pit of lava okay so let's just place a bunch of water up here and now we can just run away and morph into our next thing what the heck mr lion just tried to kill me but oh wait you're dropping water now thank you okay yeah yeah we do need to morph into something else Cardi trusts us way too much and what we're gonna morph into now is this custom golem guy and what we're gonna do to prank Cardi is we're gonna give him a bunch of loot but that probably doesn't sound like a prank at all to you. But trust me, it will be. So let's get rid of all these custom items and let's just grab some random loot for Cardi to have. So let's grab some random tools and pickaxes, that kind of thing. Let's grab some random weapons for him. And of course, some random armor. And since we're giving out Cardi all this loot, I feel like he is gonna get really, really greedy and he's probably gonna want more than what we give him. So if he does want more and starts requesting like some insane stuff, we are just gonna morph it to a huge version of ourself and completely prank him. So let's go over to him. Where are you, Cardi? And let's just give him some loot. So here you go, Cardi. I'm just gonna drop you all this stuff. What is this trash that you're dropping? Wait, this is not trash. This is OP loot. Why did Cardi think it was trash that I was gonna drop him? Okay, what the heck, man? Oh my gosh, you just gave me a super OP sword. Look at this attack. And you even gave me an electric bow? Whoa, yeah. Okay, I did give him some really cool stuff, but uh, is he gonna get green? because if he will, I am gonna completely, like, demolish everything around us. What? Why did you give me this? Did you accidentally drop this or something? Could you give me more if you didn't? Uh, what? Does he think I accidentally dropped him loot? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a side so I can actually talk to Cordy, and I'll place it down right here and say, what do you mean accidentally? Because he said, did I accidentally drop him this loot? I thought that maybe this was your loot and you accidentally dropped it, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted it back, but I'm not gonna give this back because it's mine now. Okay, Cardi. Well, if it is yours now, okay, I, I guess it can be yours now, but I'm just gonna put down a sign that says, okay, 
and uh, I'm gonna see if he wants some more stuff from me. Okay, wait. So are you actually gonna give me more stuff, Mr. Golem? Uh, I guess I'll just nod my head no. No, wait, why not? Uh, because, um, you do not deserve it, Cordy. And that's what I'm gonna say to him. I don't deserve it. What do you mean? I am the best person ever. Of course I deserve it. What? I'm just gonna say no. No, I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Golem. Take that back. Oh, he's just gonna kill me? Okay, well, you know what I have to do now. As per usual, we gotta morph into something insane now, and it, it is gonna be insane, and you can already see the electricity on us. Wow! There's a giant monster! And it's kind of hard to see us, and since I'm too big to show you what I look like, I'm just gonna show you what Cardi sees right now. And yeah, that's a little bit scary, but as this mob, we get a bunch of cool attacks, and my guys are literally going and chasing him. So we need a help them. Let's throw a bunch of custom dynamites and just destroy everything. Wait, what is happening? Why is there, like, nuclear waste? Cardi, it's because of my attacks! That's obviously why. It's a good thing that that golem gave me a sword that literally lets me fly, though. Oh, uh, wait, that sword lets him fly? Okay, well, if he enjoys flying so much, let's go all the way up to the height limit, and oh my gosh, we are up a long ways, and let's TP Cardi all the way up here, and bye-bye, Cardi. What? Hey, hey, mister, I'm gonna come up and fight you, I have a sword that's really OP. What the heck? Wait, he can fly? I, I don't get that. Wait, I'm just gonna hit him a little bit. And wait, since he has that OP loot, and wait, since Courtney can fly with his sword, I'm gonna type a command that just gets rid of all his loot. And uh, that got rid of all his loot, and he saw him drop in. How low is he now? Oh my gosh, I am super, super low on health right now. I'm literally poisoned from the nuclear waste. Uh-oh, this isn't good. There's random mobs chasing him. Uh-oh, we just gotta get rid of these guys. Oh my gosh. I am on half a heart right now. I need some food or something. Uh, yeah. I'm not giving you food. I'm grabbing more custom dynamites to ruin your game with. And this is gonna destroy the entire village like crazy. What? Why is there blocks flying everywhere? This guy has gone crazy. Uh, yeah. I've gone crazy, Cardi, but he did say he needed food. So you know what? We'll stop our OP pranks until we get to the nether and let's morph into something friendly. And what that friendly mob is, is an enchanted golden apple cow. So let's grab some enchanted golden apples. And let's also grab a TNT called the death ray TNT. Uh, just for a prank. And just so you know, that death ray TNT is literally classified as a doomsday TNT. But anyways, let's go and find Cardi now. And there he is. Okay, so he said he needed food. So let's just dodge all this radioactive stuff and let's just drop him a few golden apples as a golden apple cow. What are you? Wait, this is the cow from the beginning of the video. And wait, he's giving me a bunch of golden apples? Wait, Cardi thinks I was a cow that was punching him at the beginning of the video. What the heck? There was never any cow. But anyways, I'm just gonna act like an OP cow and fly up and drop a bunch of golden apples. Thank you for dropping all of these yellow apples, but why are they even yellow, mister? I don't even know why you're giving me yellow apples. I don't like yellow apples. He doesn't like yellow apples and he's getting rid of them. <laughs> Whatever. If he wants to get rid of them, he can get rid of them. But I'm gonna help him out even more because I desperately want to get to the nether. So we're gonna build a platform all the way over here, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an iron block, iron door, a lever, and then end portal materials. So let's build our nether portal over here, okay? And then surround the nether portal with iron blocks. And then we'll put a door right here with a lever. And this might be a little bit confusing, but I want Cordy to go in this room and activate this death ray TNT before going in the portal. So let's find a window right here so we can get in, light the portal, and uh, honestly, let's just put that insane TNT right here and let's just let Cardi come in the portal and he needs to come quick. Uh, what is this? Did you, wait, did you build me another portal, mister? I guess I'm just gonna come inside. And, uh, and that activated the TNT. The death rate's gonna come down now. And wait, is Cardi gonna get in the nether before this? Uh, I think he is. But, uh, I, I thought that was gonna last way sooner because there is literally a death rate coming down and it's destroying everything. What the heck? Okay, that is literally destroying everything, but I, I feel like we should go and meet up with Cardi in the nether now. Yeah, I thought that was gonna kill Cardi, but but I guess not. So let's go down to the bottom and build ourselves a nether portal to go and meet up with Cardi. And, and Cardi literally has no idea that I destroyed his entire world, but anyways, let's go find him. Okay, so we're in the nether now, and Cardi's nowhere to be found, which I guess is good because we do want to morph into a 
new mob. And what we're gonna morph into is this scary nether monster. And it is also really hard to see us, but we are horrifying. So let's go find Cardi and we're like some crazy looking spider. So let's find him by TPing to him. And I guess he's in the fortress. And look, there's that lava monster from the beginning. But luckily for us, since we are so strong, we can easily go and kill it. And now let's go and kill Cardi. So where are you? And you're over here. So let's just jump and I want to do some really scary pranks to him. So what we're going to do is once Cardi sees us, we are going to give him an effect to make everything dark. And uh, Cardi should see us right now. Hello, Cardi. I'm just going to tap him. I need to get blazes. And I think a blaze is attacking me and uh... Oh, whoa. 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 What is that? Cardi is literally so scared, but he's about to be even more scared because I'm going to give Cardi an effect called blindness and I'm going to make it extreme and now he should be able to see nothing. Wait, what? My entire screen went black. No, 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 no. That is not good when this thing is around. Uh-oh, that's not good for Cardi. Well, I think he can't see anything. Like, I bet I could grab a bunch of diamonds and literally drop them right next to him and he wouldn't even notice. Like, uh, I, he just wouldn't notice at all. I cannot see anything. Please help me, someone. Yeah, Cardi can't see anything. But also, I want to break him even more. What if we made all the blocks around him very dark red blocks? And this looks actually kind of spooky. Oh my gosh, I am so blind, but I feel like there's like different blocks around me. This looks a little more red than it used to. Uh, yeah, it should look a little bit more red because, you know, I, I did a command that turns everything to this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spawn in a bunch of scary mobs and they're all gonna go and start attacking Cardi and he should be able to see these. Oh my gosh, what are these skull monsters? Uh, yeah, we just made the nether really, really scary for Cardi, but let's make it even scarier by spawning even more. How am I supposed to fight this many skull monsters? There's like 10,000 around me. Yeah, I don't think you are supposed to fight that many, but let's make it even more scarier by spawning in a super scary nether mob and look at this guy. I cannot do anything, but I hear like weird screeches. Wait, is there a nether scourge in this area? Uh, yeah, there definitely is, but I feel like I should help Cardi out a little bit more. So let's TP Cardi up here and just drop him whatever loot I can find. So let's just, you know, find a bunch of loot and hopefully he can get some of it. Wait, what? I just picked up a bunch of knight armor. Wait, what? This is gonna help so much. Oh, uh, yeah, it should help him so much, but I also dropped him some good armor and stuff. But anyways, let's spotted even more scary mobs and wait that's what i am oh my gosh what is happening there's another giant scary monster right there yeah i think we just made the nether way more scarier for cardi but he has to go get his blaze rods i think there are so many scary mobs around you but i still have one thing i need to do and i need to get some blaze rods yeah he does need to get blaze rods but i feel like normal blazes aren't that scarier but you know what is scary is muted blazes oh my gosh there's a muted blaze here. No, no, I guess it's actually pretty helpful because I needed to get blaze rods. Wait, can he get blaze rods from these? You know what? I'm just gonna place even more of these. Wait, why is there like a thousand of them now? What the heck is happening? This is actually so cool, but I feel like we need to do some even more cool stuff. So let's start by flooding the entire place to a lava. And this isn't good. Cardi better get inside of the fortress. I can barely do anything, but why is there so much lava? And oh my gosh, it's raining from the sea. Ceiling. Yeah, it is raining down from the ceiling and Cardi is literally being destroyed right now. I have no idea where he is. But you know an easy way that we can find out where he is? It's by getting a Dynamite Time 500 and just throwing it and seeing what happens. And there he is. I see him now. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I have this armor or else I would be toast right now. And Cardi is literally in the middle of the fortress still and I think he has enough end rods now. But let's just throw another Dynamite Time 500. And wow, that just gets rid of everything. Oh my my gosh, why is everything just blowing up around me? These are some crazy monsters. Yeah, they are kind of crazy. I was just gonna blow up the floor even more and Cardi is probably so scared. What? I'm taking so much damage. We're literally at the bedrock. What is happening? Yeah, we are at the bedrock, but I do want to scare Cardi even more, so we better start building in a second because what we are gonna do is we are gonna come all the way down here, select this corner, and is Cardi gonna start building? Uh, I'm, hello? Cardi, start building. I'm just gonna start placing a bunch of blocks so hopefully he gets some memo and i think he 
he does. Well, what I'm going to do is all the bedrock under him, I'm just going to set as air. And now Cardi's literally building above the void. Well, let's replace all the bedrock near us with air too. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that monster built this thing up here. And uh, uh, why is there void all around me? Uh, Cardi, that's a really good question, but it's literally all bedrock under you. And you better hope I don't throw a dynamite at you because if I do, it, it will explode everything. Mr. Monster, please leave me alone. I am innocent. Well, what I'm gonna do for Cardi is I'm gonna give him a little bit of a challenge. So let's grab some concrete like yellow, red, and blue. And let's grab a block called the ghost block and then obsidian. And I'm just gonna nod my head to Cardi. Hopefully he won't look at what I'm doing. So wait, I'll probably just put down a sign right next to him that says don't look. And what I'm gonna do for Cardi is I'm gonna build him like a parkour course to get to the nether portal to get out the end. Don't look. Uh, uh, okay, I guess if you don't want me to look, I will not look. I'm just gonna look down and close my eyes. Okay, well, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. So thank you. But this isn't gonna be any normal parkour course. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three paths. A blue path, a yellow path, and a red path. And then we are just gonna repeat this until we get to the nether portal. So let's repeat this again. And then at the end of the parkour course, we will light the portal to get out of here. And this is so dangerous to go on because this is literally above the void. But instead of having a normal parkour course, what we're gonna do is we are gonna replace all these blocks with this special block called a ghost block. And what those do is it basically allows you to go through them. So if he walks on this, it will cause him to fall in the void. So let's replace all the normal blocks with our ghost blocks and make the entire course. And now Cardi can look. So I'll destroy the sign now. So now Cardi can look and let's just give him a little bit of a tap and hopefully he does not fall off. Okay, he almost did. Uh, wait, why did I just get in? Are you ready for me to look, Mr. Monster? I'm just gonna nod my head yes and you should go and look. Okay, you're ready on... Uh, what is this? Wait, is this some sort of parkour? Uh, no, this is not a parkour, Cardi. I'm just gonna say one of these paths is real on a sign and hopefully Cardi reads that before actually walking on one. One of these paths is real? Wait, so some of them ghost blocks? Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do this correctly? Yep, some of them are ghost blocks. Like, if I drop the block, it, it will literally fall right through it and hopefully Cardi sees that. Uh, wait, you just dropped a block through that yellow one. That must mean that that is not it. Okay, well, Cardi knows this one is not it, so what's he gonna go on? Red or blue? Okay, I have a 50-50 shot and blue is a better color than red, so I'm gonna go on blue and yes, I got it. Okay, well, now he's on to the second phase and red is the correct option, so let's see if he actually figures it out. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the sword's power and wait, it didn't even go on the blue. That means that blue is a ghost block and I cannot go on there. Wait, that's actually really smart because Cardi's weapon shoots a path on the floor and these are not real blocks and what, how's Cardi gonna figure this one out? So it's either red or yellow. Hmm, which one would it be? Uh, I, I guess I can try and place blocks on this yellow one and wait, the blocks aren't even placing. That means that is a ghost block. Uh, so I guess Cardi figured it out and now he's on the last one and I, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory that it is the yellow one. Ah, uh, which one would it be? Well, I don't even want to do it, honestly. I'm just gonna build a nice little path here to cheat and go through the portal. What the heck? How is Cardi cheating? Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I was gonna go and break the portal, but he got out already. Okay, well, now we need to do an insane end prank. So don't leave. We are gonna go and do that because Cardi should not have cheated. And so it's been a minute and I've been falling around Cardi as this ghost mob. And I feel like he's finally made it to the stronghold. So this is good because we're about to prank him. So you better fill in the portal. Let's go. I made it to the stronghold and I don't really remember how to like this, but I'm pretty sure I just got to break this. Uh, the, he just has to break it? Oh, okay. I feel like it'd be a little bit funny if I just broke it myself. And wait, I actually broke it and now, uh, wait, wait, I wasn't supposed to break that. How am I supposed to put my eyes on and nerd all of them now? Uh, you aren't, Cardi. You know what? I'll just fix it for you. Move out the way. And hopefully he can fix it now. Yes, you placed it back. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. And, uh, wait, why is there a ghost here? I didn't even realize. I don't know, but I'm just gonna break all the portal blocks. Wait, wait, what? Why are you breaking the portal again? Uh, Cardi, because I don't want you to go to the end because this is gonna be really dangerous, so you better not go. Ah, uh, well, you still left one of these portal blocks, so I'm just gonna go through it, Mr. Ghost, and woo! Okay, well, I guess we have to do something really dangerous now, so let's go to. And now that Cardi's here, we can start helping him out, and I feel like we should just break all the crystals so we can get right to the break. And don't leave because it is gonna be insane. So let's go. We got rid of all the crystals, and Cardi is now on the 
the main island. And I feel like we should start letting him know something's up by changing all the obsidian to lava. And wait, what? Wait, I could have sworn these were just obsidian pillars. How did they turn to lava? Uh, yeah, Cardi, you have no idea. And now we are gonna do the same command and replace almost all the endstone with magma blocks. Now this is looking really dangerous. Wait, what? That, oh my gosh, something really weird is definitely happening. The entire end just turned to magma. Yeah, it is something really weird. But now, of course, we do got to morph into our last insane mob. And what that is, is a mob of the Lunar Storm. And it is very hard to see us because we're huge. But this is what Cardi sees right now. And yeah, that does look insane. But now as this insane mob, we obviously got to do insane attacks. So let's grab some insane dynamite we haven't used before. And look at our inventory. It is really hard to see anything. But let's just start destroying the entirety of the end with this insane dynamite. And oh my gosh, Cardi better start being scared. What is happening? Wait, is there dynamite going off? I swear I am hearing explosions. Uh, yeah, there is dynamite going off, Cardi. The entire end island is literally being exploded as we speak. Oh my gosh, there's a massive hole here. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get blown up next? Uh, does he think he's gonna get blown up next? I mean, I probably will blow him up. But right now, I've just destroyed the remainder of the end island, so all that's left is this magma platform, and this definitely isn't a normal thing. Wait, are you, like, destroying all the endstone? There's only magma left now. What? Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. And we're just getting rid of a bit of everything. And uh, soon there's going to be nothing left. And that soon is uh, right about now, honestly. You have destroyed everything. And I think you're going to try and kill me next. I have to kill this dragon as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay, Cardi. Well, what we're going to grab is we're going to grab an insane TNT called the Doomsday TNT and a flint and steel. And we're just going to come down to Cardi. We're going to place it right here and we're just going to light it off. And what is going to happen? Uh oh, this isn't good. Wait, what? Why is there like lightning and what? There's meteors too? Uh, a bit of everything is happening right now. And I, I think they're going to destroy the entire end island. But not completely. It's just going to do a bunch of small attacks. So we're going to grab a new doomsday attack called the flat earth. We're going to explode this right here and watch what happens. Wait, what is this? What? There's a TNT right here? And uh, that just got rid of all the lava. Okay, now there is actually nothing left. Wait, that TNT you placed just got rid of the lava. Wait, are you trying to help me, Mr. Whale? Uh, no, I'm not going to help him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another insane TNT and let's grab a TNT called the Helix TNT. I don't know what this does. So let's place this right here and see what happens. And uh, that's shooting out some insane TNT. Okay, I don't know what this does, but let's see. What is happening? Wait, what? There's a bunch of flying TNTs. Oh my gosh. There is a lot more flying TNTs now. Wait, is this going to destroy everything? The entire end island is just disappearing in front of my eyes. Oh uh, yeah, almost the entire end island. We still have a little bit more and the dragon's almost dead. So let's grab a new one called the stone gold TNT and the chunk TNT. I don't know what either of these do, but let's just explode them both at the same time. And they're about to explode and oh my gosh, what the heck? Wait, why did everything turn to ice around me? What? Yep, and now we gotta do the last bit of TNTs. And one of them is gonna be this thing called the Colossal TNT. So let's go right here, place it down, and let's just light it. What is this thing? Why is it like a box of fire? Wait, are you gonna give me a bunch of OP loot? Why would that give him OP loot? That, that's just gonna put him in the void. No! And I think Cordy's dead. So let's just get rid of the Ender Dragon so we can go say hi to him in the overworld. And wow, we destroyed everything. So now let's head to the overworld. And hello, Cardi! Wait, uh, I'm right behind you. Wait, what? Smacky? Wait, you just joined the game. We have a lot of work to do. We need to kill all these OP bosses. OP bosses? Okay, well, then I guess we should go and get mining in a cave, right? Y yeah, Smacky. What do you mean, right? We gotta go quick. Uh, there is something I have to tell you. You know those OP bosses? Uh, yeah, Smacky. Why did you just turn into one? I can turn into more than just one, Cardi. I can turn it into a lot of them. Wait, what? You have like a morph mod installed and what is that? Uh, this is something that I forgot to scare you with. But Cardi, during this entire time, I was breaking you with insane mobs. Oh my gosh, Smirky, that was all you? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine, Smirky. Yeah, it was really, really funny. But if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and watch one of the next videos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.